Welcome to this AutoCAD Electrical Essentials course. What you'll be looking at here is a very different installation to the regular AutoCAD installation. You'll notice on the left hand side here we have the Project Manager. Now this is essential when you're creating electrical drawings. You'll notice that we have some demo drawings in the Project Manager, like so. We will be using those later when we look at typical electrical drawings. Now, Electrical itself provides you with libraries and standards within AutoCAD to generate standardized electrical drawings. So, for example, if I went up to the schematic tab here on the ribbon, you'll see that I've got an icon menu that I can use. I can build circuits. I can also go to the panel tab here and I can generate panels with icons, wire annotation, balloons. You can see that all of the commands allow you to generate an electrical drawing that looks professional, concise, and easy to read. You can generate your own symbols as well. You can define your own AutoCAD electrical component symbols there for things like terminals and panels and so on. Other things that are new to AutoCAD Electrical are Autodesk 360. If I go to this tab here on the ribbon, you'll notice now I can use online tools and synchronize my drawings online. Autodesk 360 is a cloud-based application that allows you a certain amount of storage in the cloud to save your electrical drawings. You can then use those cloud drawings and other people can look at those drawings and comment on those drawings. Notice you can collaborate, for example, which starts an online session with what they call AutoCAD WS, which can run on your PC, on a tablet, or on certain smartphones. You can share the document with somebody else and you can designate who can actually access that document. It doesn't have to be a drawing. It could be, for example, a specification document or an original engineering manufacturer's manual. So you can see there's lots of new tools available in AutoCAD Electrical, which we'll cover later on. But what we need to look at are the tools that allow us to work with AutoCAD Electrical. If we look down here on the project manager, You'll notice that we don't just have the demos. We can open existing projects. We can work with new projects. We can also generate new drawings within a project and refresh the project at any time. You'll notice here as well, moving along, I can do a project-wide update where I can re-tag all my components, my switches, my motors, and so on. And moving along, I can check the drawing list display configuration down here in the project manager. I can also publish and plot all of my drawings in a project at any time. If I go back up here to the Home tab, this is the standard AutoCAD Home tab on the ribbon. As I start moving along, as I mentioned though, I can set up a project. So I can copy an existing project, I can delete projects, I can zip projects up to save space on my server. I can also move in and out of existing drawings, so I can go to a previous drawing or a next drawing. So if I open up an existing drawing, let's say in a project here, I've got the extra library demo. Let's open up demo 001. So I've got that drawing there. If I go next drawing now, it takes me into demo 02 there. So I can move within drawings in a project very quickly and very easily. Other things I can do, schematics. I can build the schematics, as I mentioned previously. There's all the tools. I can build panels. I can generate reports. So reports can be generated to things like Excel spreadsheets. I can do a drawing audit. I can do an electrical audit to make sure that everything is tagged correctly. So for example there, the flyout tells you if I hover over electrical audit and just pause, can you see the flyout there? That's a lovely new feature in the later versions of AutoCAD. It tells me what electrical audit does. You can do that with any command in AutoCAD. If I go to import export data, I can export to other products that are used in the electrical environment, such as Unity Pro, PLC, also Autodesk products like Inventor. So I can work with other tools, other engineers in other disciplines. Conversion tools, I can convert to other products as well, such as Promise E. I can add geometry, I can add wire connections. If I go to plugins here, you'll notice I can go to the Exchange App Manager, which is the Autodesk App Store. I can import SKP files, which are SketchUp files, from SketchUp into any drawing as a block. You'll notice there's 360 that I mentioned. 
and also featured apps there now. This is another new tab where I can connect to what they call Autodesk Exchange, which allows me to launch the app's website as well. So I can go and look at all the apps on the website too. So there's a lot of new tools available to you in AutoCAD Electrical that allow you to generate standardized electrical drawings, which work in a standardized electrical world, working to recognized worldwide standards. What I want to look at here is the naming philosophy we're going to use throughout the course. Now, we've got lots of DWG files that we're going to be working with, and I want to make sure that you're aware of what each DWG file represents. So we've got a naming philosophy that allows us to check that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and open up a project that I've got set up in the background first. So we go to open project here and we go and find our project file. You can find these work files in the working files folder inside each chapter folder on your DVD or in your download file. So I'm going to click on movies and work files, which is where I've stored all of my drawings and videos and everything else into introduction, which is where we are into drawings. And there's a file names folder which houses my WDP file, which is my project file. So I double click on that project file, and as you can see, there's my file names project. Now there's no little cross next to it indicating that there's no drawings in that particular project file right now. So I just go up to open on the quick access toolbar, and in my drawings folder, there's my drawings there. I've got one beginning with GEN, one beginning with IEC, one beginning with JIC. I'm going to go with the GEN one first and open that up. Click on open. And it's a typical panel drawing, but I'm just using it as an example. The GEN on that drawing stands for general, which indicates that no standards apply to it. So there's no IEC standards. There's no JIC standards. There's no units associated with it. It's just a generic drawing. Now, whilst I've used a panel drawing, I've just used that as an example. So don't worry about those units there or anything like that. What I'll do now is I'll right click on the project and add that active drawing to the project and say yes to applying the project default values. And you'll see that there's a little plus now next to file names here. If I click on it, there's my general ribbon interface drawing applied to the project. So if I go to open again now, and we'll have a look at the next one down, IEC. There you go, just another panel drawing there that I've opened up. Again, it's a panel drawing. Ignore the fact that it's a panel drawing. Look at the name of the drawing. It's IEC cabinet. Now, it is an IEC drawing. IEC is the European metric standard for electrical. So IEC in front of any drawing means that it's a European metric standard. Again, I'll right click on the project, add the active drawing, apply the default values. And as those default values are applied, the drawing then gets added to the project like that. Now there's one more to look at. So I'll go to open again. And this time we've got JIC. And what I'll do is I'll open that one up. JIC is the American standard for electrical. And that will be in feet and inches. It'll be imperial. And there's a typical drawing there. And again, it's just a typical drawing. Look at the naming philosophy. JIC intro drawing up here at the top of the screen. Right click on file names again, add active drawing, and we'll say yes to applying the project default values. Now we've got those three drawings in our file names project, and you can see the naming philosophy now. Gen, G E N, stands for general. So no standards apply, no units apply. IEC, the European standard applies, and it is a metric drawing using millimeters, meters, and so on. JIC is the American standard for electrical, which will use feet and inches and will be an imperial drawing. So if you see that in front of any drawings in the work files that we use during this course, you now know what each one of them means. So GEN is general, IEC, European metric, JIC, American imperial feet and inches. So hopefully that clears that one up for you. And what will happen now is when you work through the work files, You'll understand when you open one what units you're working in. More importantly, with IEC and JIC, what symbol libraries you'll be using.